the story of working with Supo was really cool. David Coltai was uh, walking down the aisle at NAMM and he's like, hey man, you ever need any amplifiers, uh, let me know. And I complimented on his work, his amplifiers, the whole Supro line, the whole Pigtronics line. And about six months later, I called him up and I was like, hey David, you know, I would love to get some uh, amplifiers for the NAMM show, just let me know what's, what's up. Somehow he got our uh, logo and the amplifiers arrived with the Keeley logo on it. It looked so great. It complimented the Supro logo just right. I called him up amazed and he was about to call me saying, we've got to do something together. It looks too good together. It would be such a powerful combination. And I said, yeah, let's start talking about it. So we started talking speaker size and we started talking tubes and, and you know, what features did, was it going to have reverb? Was it going to have tremolo and all those things. And, um, it, it came together really quick. Dave, David's very fun to work with. He's a very excited guy like me. And we decided to put together a simple combo, very simple feature set that would show off the pedals. And we, you know, once we were like, no, it's that simple. It was, it was really that kind of good. The thing that's so important about the, the Keeley Supro collaboration is that kind of our effects pedal voices get heard, our, our requirements of the input has to, you know, be this way so that our effects pedals can breathe and come to life and, and have all the amplification needs or, you know, bass response, treble response. All those things have got to be perfect in the front end. If it's an effects loop, it has to be extremely transparent. It has to be something that, you know, lets your pedals talk to the amplifier and feed the output tubes with the right sounding signal. If, um, you know, so in hearing us talk about effects pedals, David's like, yeah, I'm an effects pedal guy too. Big Tronics. So it's like, finally, I get to put this at the forefront of the design focus and we can have an amplifier that is stripped of everything that, that maybe makes a specialized color full amplifier, you know, sound amazing. But in this case, let's let the tubes breathe. Let's let the pedals breathe. Let's interface the, the amplifier at a couple different points where, where effects pedals sound good. And it, it came together really well. So in the beginning, we chose the 10 inch speaker um, to, to build the relationship with because that's where all the, the nuanced mid range is. That's, that's, where, that's where all the magic and music really kind of happens. In the beginning, in the modding days of pedals, I was like, hey, we can add some more bass here. I can change this tube screamer into something else if I add bass to it or if I take away the mid range. But now I realize that, you know, the more tube screamers, the merrier, the more, you know, mid range nuanced pedals there are, the better. Um, so all those things uh, come to life with a 10 inch speaker. Not that a 12 inch speaker isn't somewhere in, in the future, but um, uh, with, with David, we wanted to focus on the effects pedals and bringing them to life. And that's, that's where I think they get heard best. In my world, the amplifier came first. It was the big thing. It was the thing that made the noise. So um, I immediately started playing and building uh, little Fender Tweed amplifiers. And those, those Tweed amplifiers um, set your imagination on fire. You know, it's a very simple layout. It's a very simple tube complement, very say, simple design, and uh, it makes the guitar sound amazing. The nice thing about the Supro Keeley amplifier is that it has the ability to put your effects in the effects loop or the input. And with the input, you can do things like use boosters and you can push the power tubes. You get that stacked gain stage because you have your overdrive pedals or your boost pedals pushing and overdriving the tube, so you get this blend. Nothing sounds better than the way the tube rounds off some of that stuff or the, or the speakers rounds off some of that stuff. In other cases, you want certain effects definitely after your distortion. And so if you put your delays and modulations reverbs in an effects loop, in other words, after the preamp tubes, before the power tubes, then you have a much clearer sound. You don't have problems with distortions that are unwanted. So having those two things was critical for this amplifier. Another thing I love about this amplifier is the all tube design. It's got two 12 AX7s, and my favorite tube is the Tung Sol 6 V6. It's got that in there. So it has the sound that I like. It has the sound that I expect to hear portray my effects pedals. And the way it's done with the master volume control is perfect for taming the volume. If you don't need to be loud, if you're doing a recording session, you don't, you don't have to get to concert pitch levels or band levels to, to make this amplifier sound good. So I like the fact that it's stripped down. It doesn't have reverb and tremolo. We supply that, the effects pedals supply that, and the amplifier is set up to take your effects at, at any intersection. So it really sounds amazing as a, as a complete combo. 
One thing nice about working with Supro is that their amplifiers are made in Port Jefferson, New York. Our effects pedals are made here in Edmond, Oklahoma. And the combination of our two similar thought processes on how we want to bring music gear to people, how we want to bring classic sounds to people, rock and roll sounds to people, those things allowed us to work together. I'm excited that they, I kept on pushing on the price and we made sure that it was an extremely affordable $7.99 which I think falls in line with how our effects pedals are priced and what's great for, for common musicians, working people. Um, so I'm extremely pleased with the price point and the fact that it's made here in the US. Well, you can imagine when I got the call from David saying that it was really gonna happen. He was gonna put a Keeley Supro amp package together and he's asking me how he wants it sound, how I want it sound. And um, I said, one of the things that has to have is that amazing Supro mid-range, that huge, girthy mid-range that's very authoritative it's very loud it's very rock and roll if you need it to be because our effects pedals play so well there you can hear the nuances the details in our reverbs our modulations what makes our stuff sound really good completely shines in the super amplifier it doesn't get buried in a scooped out sound or a very bassy amplifier sound or a mid-range focused lead amp it doesn't it doesn't do that it's this amazing super wide mid-range that's I think is very honest, very revealing, very authoritative, very powerful. And so our effects pedals, whether they're in the input or the effects loop, they sound amazing in this amplifier. So when I'm sitting around the shop designing pedals, one thing that comes up is like, how, how does it sound with, with this circuit? How does it sound with this brand of amplifier? What about this classic amplifier? And one of the things you want as a designer is to have something like uh, that has an input stage, it has an effects loop in it so you can see how your effects play with this amplifier circuitry and what other musicians are using. So you need something like, that's almost like a laboratory amplifier, you know, but you need it with a heart. And that's exactly what we put into the Supro by making it so that it supported effects pedals so well. I can get in there and I can put my sounds exactly where they're supposed to be, where I intended them to be, and then the Supro comes along and just makes it louder and better.